Hi everyone, Courtney from French Country Cottage here with Wayfair today to talk about hosting a summer block party in your neighborhood. A summer block party is a great way to get your neighborhood together and to kind of renew some of those, you know, neighborly relationships and friendships and, you know, maybe you don't see your neighbors all the time and it's a great time to get everybody together and just kind of catch up. And it's also a great way to invite new people that maybe just moved into your neighborhood to kind of get to know everybody. And, you know, it's a fun thing that when I was growing up that I looked forward to every summer. So there's a couple of things you can do to make a summer block party a success and as stress-free as possible with the least amount of work on you as the host. Um, and we're gonna talk about that today. So the first thing you wanna make sure is that you invite everybody early. You know, summer is a busy time for everyone. You know, kids are out of school, so there's gonna be vacations, people are traveling. Pick a time, you know, do the whole thing and just let everybody know, you know, as far as in advance as possible so they can put it on the calendar and plan for it. And the other thing that's great about that is when you're inviting everybody, make sure that you ask everybody to bring something to share. Because, you know, there's a lot of people that might come to your block party, depending on how big your neighborhood is. And that's a lot of food, and that's a lot of prep work, and a lot of work. And so, you have, have everybody bring something to share. It just cuts down what you have to do, and it also just kind of helps everybody all around. And things that are easy to delegate would be things like a fruit salad, or a green salad, or desserts, or things like that. And like with the fruit salad, you don't even have to have somebody bring an entire fruit salad. You could have somebody bring the oranges for the fruit salad and somebody bring the strawberries for the fruit salad. You can kind of put it all together at your house and you know serve it that way. It makes it really easy. The other thing that's super easy to delegate is desserts because you know you want to have a lot of dessert options at a block party or any kind of a party really. But if you have you know three, four, five people each bringing a different dessert, it really fills up that dessert table nicely and gives people a lot of options to maybe have seconds if they want to. Um, the third idea, which I think is probably my favorite, is um, a progressive block party. A progressive block party is basically just a block party, you know, that you kind of start at one house and you move to the next and then you move to the next and it kind of goes on through the evening. So when I was growing up, we would start at one house for hors d'oeuvres. So somebody would host hors d'oeuvres and they would have, you know, everything all together. You know, maybe the adults are having a cocktail and the kids are having, you know, nibbles and fun things while they're running around. And then the next house you'd go to would have dinner. The next one would be dessert. It's a great, great way to make sure that you have this great party and that it's a success, but that you also have that time to relax and enjoy it as well. Because if it's only at your house, you know, you're going to be busy doing all of the work yourself the whole evening. I hope you enjoyed my tips today, and I hope you'll subscribe to the Wayfair channel so you don't miss any exclusive content coming your way. Happy entertaining. Bye, everybody.